after GM closed down, or after GM, I started working at Champs. Became the number one salesman in the district, and it's like, well, we're going to train you as assistant manager, but you have to go to Columbus, which is 45 minutes from Dayton. Went there, became the number one salesman in the district there. The uh, general manager came one day, it's like, you're doing such a great job. How far are you going to take it in the company? I was, you know, like, like an interview, like we're doing mm -hmm. right now. I said, man, hey, I'd like to have a position like yours one day. Two weeks later, I was fired. What? Yeah, wow. he fired me after that, man. And I'm just like super depressed now because no basketball, no gym, no champs. What am I going to do now? And probably like three or four weeks after that, I saw went and saw my very first play. And I fell in love with it. Now, what was the play and what was it that made you fall in love with it? It was, it was at Living a Dream Theater with a guy named James Chapman. And I sat there and I guess, you know, I've always had the entertainment blood in me. And it was like at a little theater, like 30 seats or whatnot. And I sat there and I said, I can do that. Never thought about acting in my entire life. A few weeks after that, they had auditions for that same company. I went to audition and got a part. <laughs> Even though what I was doing. <laughs> Just got a part. And I'm a competitor, you know, so I was competing. I'm like, well, I'm not going to be the one who sucked. So I just kept on practicing and practicing and practicing and I used to the way that I used to remember my lines is I used to get in the car in my car drive around with the script on my lap and it made of course I had to focus on the road but it also made me focus on the on my lines as well. So I started doing more plays and then I ended up auditioning for a independent film called Symbol of Love. Got the lead role in that. So I'm like, okay, I might be on this. So I'm start doing <laughs> more plays, and then the movie Traffic with Michael Douglas came, and that was my first big break because they they filmed it in Ohio. Now that's I'm getting more for a Steven Soderbergh. That's yeah. that's fantastic. What was that experience like? It was great, you know. My, my parents and my, myself, and my sister told everybody. My mom, like, my baby with Michael Douglas, y'all gotta go see him in the movie Traffic, and you know, I'm all hyped up. So after that, I'm like, I'm moving to LA. And my parents are like, you don't even know anybody there. I said, I don't care, I'm, I'm gonna go try. But by the time it was time for me to move to, come here to Los Angeles, um, GM had cut me a check for $10,000 $10, saying not to come back. So I wasn't going back anyways. Yeah. The $10,000 helped me with the move. Champs tried to give me my job back. I had told him no, I found something I love to do. And so by the time I got out here, the trailer, the um, the preview for the for traffic was coming up. So I'm there, I'm watching, all the big stars is there, and I'm sitting there, my scene it takes place where Michael Douglas drive through the neighborhood and I stop him and I confront him. Okay? So I'm sitting there and I'm like, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yo, man, what do you want, man? What do you mean, what do I want? Rock of dope, man! Rock of dope! I don't want anything. And he drives right past me. Cut my scene out. Oh. <laughs> I'm devastated. So, of course, what pops in my mind? Scoop. GM. Champs. Now this. So afterwards, I go to Steven Soderbergh because I'm hurt. I'm devastated. I'm thinking about, they're all laughing at you. You know, or me on the dance floor. And I go to him, I said, hey man, I said, why y'all cut my part out? Just like that. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, uh, Vince, you know, we got we on a budget, you know, we had to, we had to pay Mike up front. And so he's like, he said, I'm sorry, it happens that way. No, I didn't know. You know, I'm just speaking from the heart. And let me back back, but they kept my name in the credits. So still, 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 those checks still coming yeah. in. <laughs> and um, so, you know, he saw that I was hurt and he was like, he said, but I'm working on a new project. He took out pen and paper. He said, give my secretary a call. I'm working on this new movie called Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> oh, just a little, just a little, little indie thing. Maybe, maybe you saw it, guy? I don't know. <laughs> so that's how I ended up getting in Ocean's Eleven. 